Hey everybody, this is Applicable Dave. Today we're doing a domination match in the map raid. <laughs> if you didn't notice, I kind of failed on capturing that flag. But right now I'm sporting the Scar H along with the Reflex Eyesight and the Quick Draw Attachment. I'm also using the perks Lightweight, Fast Hands, and Dexterity. For the moment, our team has A, the enemy has C, and B is yet to be occupied. So, why don't we have a look-see, see if we can capture this flag. Oh, uh, nope, nope, nope. Enemy's got it. Where is he, where is he? He's gotta be somewhere here. There you are. <laughs> gotcha. Is there another one over here? Somebody shot me from here. There's one. Is there another one? No. Okay. So how do you guys like domination? I know it's a lot different from the regular team deathmatch or the other playlists. I remember the first time I played domination. It was in Modern Warfare 3, and I had no idea what I had to do. Of course, I had I knew that I had to capture the flags, but that's all I knew, and. I treated it just like Team Deathmatch, and that's something you should not do. It's just that the gameplay is a lot different, the atmosphere, the pace, they're all different. And of course the objective is different as well. One of the reasons why I like Domination so much is because it gets really intense. I mean if you have a flag and the, the enemy team is trying to capture it, there there's some times where you can get plenty of kill streaks if you're careful enough. And in, you know, a lot, there's a lot of people who just camp at one site. That's never, that's never, never a good idea to do because uh, they can easily pick you off, especially somebody who, who knows what they're doing or knows the, uh, the hiding places where the flag is. So you should never just sit around in one spot, especially for a extended period of time, because chances are they will try to find you and try to get you. UAV inbound. You always want to be on the move. So anyway, last Monday we were talking about my favorite YouTubers. Well, it was actually my favorite gaming YouTubers. And so I was thinking maybe I can make another video of just my my regular... Well, I, I have different categories of uh, YouTubers that I watch. I have my, of course, my gaming YouTubers. I have my vloggers and I have my sketch and everything like that. But I don't know. Maybe it's a good idea. It'd probably be a lot of fun to do that. Maybe in another video. Not this video. <laughs> this guy was twirling around. Um, I want to talk to you about the upcoming event in August. There is a function, a YouTube function called uh, VidCon. And uh, I went there last year. It was really exciting and I had a lot of fun. And I'm really excited to uh, come back this year, Lord Milling. And so we'll see how that goes. But, uh, you know, thinking about it, I've focused more on my gaming channel more than my other channels. I have a uh, regular channel where I try to do sketches and stuff like that, just random uploads, and then I have a vlog channel, and I also have a tech channel where I talk about, where I do unboxings, and I talk about tech, and techy stuff, and I do reviews and everything. I'll probably have the links down below, but as far as VidCon goes, I just, last year, uh, maybe it was because I wasn't into video games all that much, but I know that I didn't have that feeling of, you know, it was a gaming sort of atmosphere. It was more for vloggers and uh, people who who post uh, sketches and uh, different things like that. Uh, but I know that people like uh, Toby Turner or you know the famous YouTubers who have gaming channels, yeah they were there but as far as I'm talking about like hardcore like uh, Call of Duty uh, players, people who are, are in depth with, uh, with uh, video games. I mean that's like that's all they do. That's uh, their main thing. And so I uh, Maybe it's because I wasn't into gaming, which is why I feel that it wasn't really for gamers. Because I know they have uh, different uh, events and functions uh, such as PAX and other gaming events. But as far as uh, VidCon, I don't think it was more towards that. It was just for the general YouTuber. Of course, there, I'm sure there was a lot of gamers there, but I just maybe it's, uh, I wasn't familiar with a lot of people. So, I don't know. I just think it would be super awesome if uh, people like... Uh, LEA or uh, Drifter or you know Wicker Shrapnel would just show up there at VidCon which I don't know if they do on a regular basis or if they have in the past but it would be really cool to be able to chat with them and get some tips and and just talk to them. I mean, a lot of them helped me out a lot as far as uh, uh, making a YouTube channel, a gaming channel and I think it would be really cool to have that influence and have that available for people like me who are aspiring you know 
YouTube content makers or whatever you want to call us. Alright, halftime is up. And I per me personally, I like posting videos on YouTube. I love making videos, I like editing it, I love planning on it, I love all that stuff. And being able to, it's the upload that I that I hate because <laughs> I have such bad internet. But uh, no, I'm just kidding. With uh, with making videos, I, I learned a lot from other YouTubers and just getting different ideas. And it's really fun being able to uh, play a game, record it, talk about it, and, or talk about random stuff, and then upload. It. And then people actually watch it. Right now, I have a small follow base on YouTube, but it's pretty amazing that you know that certain amount of people who subscribe to me watch my videos or you know subscribe to me for a reason and so that that says a lot for my efforts and even though I'm not the best youtuber and I don't make the best videos but I do enjoy what I do and I love it that people actually watch it and leave comments and uh, hit the like buttons and stuff like that or favorite it's just the uh, the the Overall responses from you guys is amazing. I watch some of these uh, big time YouTubers and some of their earlier videos are so humbling in, in the sense that you know they, they, they're so thankful for their subscribers or they're so thankful for reaching their first thousand subscribers or uh, like first thousand likes on a video and everything like that. And I watch these guys who, who came from humble beginnings and encourages me to the fullest seeing how how far they've gotten. I, I told somebody, I think I told WebDAC this, um, something that, that has stuck to me and, and I will never forget it and it encourages me to this day is that there was a line in the movie, I forget which movie it was, but basically the idea was uh, he was in, uh, this guy was encouraging these people who were trying and striving to be better or tr striving to be the best and he gives the example of the people before him and he was telling these people that the uh, the people that they look up to and the people that they, uh, they admire the most started off just like them and so what that tells me is that people like Ali A or people like Drifter or people the famous people that I look up to on YouTube they started off just like me they started off with 50 or so subscribers they started off with people who get negative responses or thumbs down or whatever the, you call it but if eventually as long as you uh, stick to as as long as you continue to work hard with uh, your content as long as you're consistent about uploading videos and trying to give uh, the best quality possible I, I believe that there's there's no way that it can go downhill for you I think that that encourages me a lot and that shows me that you know one day I can be uh, just like the people that I watch on YouTube and hopefully I can encourage somebody else to do the same as well I think that's pretty awesome the other day I was in a public lobby playing Black Ops 2 and this kid who is also in a public lobby and uh, invited me to, uh, to be the friend they, they sent me a friend request and I kind of looked at it uh, I was in the middle of trying to play so I wasn't able to accept it at the time and then he uh, messaged me again saying uh, that he uh, subbed and that just blew my mind and like okay wow you know somebody a total stranger who saw my stuff on uh, uh, you know my gamer tag or whatever the case is and then he he saw the link to my YouTube channel and then he says sub and then you know later on I checked I got an email saying that this person has actually uh, subscribe to me whether or not the, this person will like my videos or whatever the case is but I think it's just amazing that somebody who uh, who's totally foreign to me somebody I don't know uh, wants to watch more of my videos or whatever the case is and, uh, that feeling is nothing like anything else and so I think I'm addicted to posting videos I think I, I love making videos and uh, I've always loved making videos since I was a kid and just playing uploading video game video games and uh, video game related stuff is a bonus so what are your guys thoughts about the whole YouTube thing and the whole uh, content uh, uh, creator you know the whole YouTuber thing are, are you guys uh, into watching YouTube videos are you guys uh, into making videos on your own if you guys have your channels or you know if you guys have a cool video that you want to share be sure to uh, drop it down in the uh, comments down below and hopefully I'll be able to look at those and maybe you know I can subscribe or I can like those videos as well and so I think the, the whole this whole YouTube 
community is a lot bigger than what people think, and I definitely have a whole bunch of fun being in that community. Alright, and I think we are approaching the end of this video. Right now I am just uh, trying to intercept this guy, but I think he went where there he is. Saw the red dot. So right now I'm going to try to get this care package in before the game ends, and... Friendly care package uh, inbound. Nope. Well, I, I guess that's it for the uh, the video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys have any questions or comments, make sure you leave them down below. I do appreciate the likes and the uh, thumbs up and everything else. But uh, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And I'll catch you at the next video. Bye.